Wow Wow we! it's episode 3! Now I've had enough of experts and ruins, so I'm in the city of York to indulge in the finer elements of Roman culture. Invading a country is tiring stuff, so I'm delighted to learn that the crew have booked me into a spa day at the local Roman baths. Phil, how's it going? You alright Toby? Take your time. Yeah, it's a long walk. Walked the whole way, did you? Yeah, walked the whole way to York. And why are we in York then? Uh, I think it's an old Roman town. I don't know, I guess. Uh, all I'm interested in is the baths. I'm having a spa day, baby. Uh, I'm gonna be pampered, I'm gonna you know, really recoup, relax, recharge. To mark the release of Total War Rome Remastered, Creative Assembly have sent me on a mission to discover how the Romans invaded Britain. Following in their footsteps, I'm going to learn how the Romans fought, Fire! ate, and built their way into history. I'm Phil Wang, and this is my guide to invading Britain. Gonna have me a spot, gonna be re- It's another ruin. Yeah. Who's he? This is mm -hmm. Matt. Matthew. He's a, a tour guide. Oh, God's sake. Be careful coming down. Yeah. Sorry if I was expecting steps. Don't look. Go on then. Well, hi, Phil. I'm Matthew. I'm going to show you around the Roman baths. Cool. Don't suppose there are any actual baths here, working ones? Um, sadly not, no. Hmm. You're, a, uh, you're a few centuries too late for that one. I wish I could say this is the first time I've been fooled by a Yorkshireman whilst wearing a bathrobe, but I'd be lying. So York has been around, if you like, since, since the year 71. Um, that's when the Romans came. It was a strategic position, two rivers come together, ideal place, this is where they settled and they built a fort and the Roman baths are here to serve the, the soldiers. Isn't that mad how history works? Like once upon a time ages ago, a Roman general thought this is a good strategic position and because of that guy, there's a Greg's there now. So the area that we're in at the moment is called the Caldarium. Now this would be the hottest room from the, uh, the Frigidarium to the um, the Frigidarium. That was the, the, the coldest room. Is that where all the people who won't have sex go? Okay, well, do you want to show me around York then, Matthew? Is there more to see? Yeah, sure. There's a lot to see. I'll meet you upstairs. Yep, meet you upstairs. Want a tea or a coffee, Matthew? Um, no, I'm good, thanks. Ooh, it is cold. <laughs> Hello, mate. All right. Ready to do a tour of York? Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got your little, uh, little selfie stick so you can look a proper tourist. People in this country think I'm an Asian tourist enough as it is. This is just going to make that worse. Go and enjoy it, mate. I'll try. Okay, Matthew. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This here was the site of the main entrance into Roman York. Roman wow. sarcophagus. Yorky, 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 yorky. Okay. Yorky. Now let me show you this big column behind Excuse us. Excuse me. Oh, right. <laughs> As Matthew banged on about Romans and rivers, I couldn't help but notice how lovely a town York is and that it would make a fine capital for my colony of Britwangia. Wonder if you're going to ask me the classic question that everybody asks. Have you ever killed a man? So we'll take a socially distant selfie. A socially distant selfie. Yeah, yeah. If you put your arm like it's around me, we're actually next to each other. There we go. Yep, yep. Hey, 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 who's this? Who's so, your friend? So this is Constantine the Great, one of the, uh, the famous emperors of Rome. Because incredibly, he was actually proclaimed emperor here in the city, not in Rome, in York. Oh. The only emperor that that happened with 
So his father, Constantius, died here in the city uh, and his army decided that they wanted the son in charge because they knew him, and they trusted him, he'd been head of the army here in Britain, so they proclaimed him the new emperor. A statue in those days was really to signify somebody of importance. So what you're saying is if someone gets a statue made of themselves, people will automatically respect them? Yeah, definitely, because a, a statue in the days before photography and mobile phones was a person's only image. So therefore, the more impressive it was, the grander it was, the, uh, the more respect you're going to gain. Thanks, Matthew. I appreciate everything today. Uh, it was nice to meet you. I just got an idea, but um, I'll see you around here. Yeah? Have a good one. Oh, okay. Sorry about I don't know what's wrong with him. Sorry about that, Matthew. You're right, Phil. What are you, what are you doing, mate? I'm just Googling something. Uh, this uh, statue of Constantine's given me an idea. Every yeah. great conqueror needs a statue of themselves. So that's what I need to get, a statue of myself made to solidify my conquest of Britain. So these uh, locals here know that Wang's in charge now. And it looks like I found a place nearby, actually. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. This will do just fine. Nice one. All right. I'll see you guys there. All right, mate. <laughs> Matthew's tour paid off after all. That statue of Constantine has given me an idea. I've Googled a nearby sculptor who can knock one up of me. And he does next day delivery. Hi. Oh. Greg? Yeah, Phil. Yeah, that's right. We spoke nice on the phone to meet earlier. you. How are you? Yeah, thanks for meeting me at such a short notice. Anytime. Yeah, so you sounded a bit confused on the phone, but basically, like I said, I'm taking over Britain the way the Romans did, you yeah. know? And I need something that's going to show everyone that I'm in business. All right, uh, yeah, I mean, it's doable. I mean, do you get this kind of thing much? No. Okay. No, no. I mean, like, to be fair, this is really weird. Well, he seems nice. Now it's time for me to slip into something a little more comfortable. Paint me like one of your Roman girls, Greg. Here we go. Where'd you get the uh, toga from? Fancy dress shop. And the wreath? Fancy dress shop. Do us a favour, can you point over here for us, please? Yeah. That's it, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, be sure to capture my bravery. D what kind of leader do you envisage yourself to be? Well, it's a tricky one, you know. Wang the Merciful has a ring about it, mm. but I don't want to sound like a pushover. Wang the Terrible is too far the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try Wang that. the Erotic. I think we've got it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of voices actually recently. That might be why I'm saying this. Wang the Erotic. And can um, I just say how refreshing it is to be in the presence of an artist who's doing the art for the sake of the art and not just another paycheck? Well, you know what I mean? We do need to talk about, uh, you are a patron. Sure, but like I said, art is its own reward, isn't it? So you, you do it for the love of it more than any m money or anything, you know? That is a part of it. The love, the love is a part of it. Money is a part of it too. But what is money if not love um, badly expressed? Greg clearly has the soul of an artist, and it's admirable that he's willing to do this free of charge. But them's the perks of being emperor. Are you ready for this? Yes, are you done? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Perfect. History in the making. <gasps> yes. Yes, look at that. Look, the, the, the strength, the power, the gravitas, the toga, it's all in there. Thank you so much, Greg. I really appreciate it. So, uh, the, the, you'll, get, you'll get on the statue straight away. I'm going to get on the statue. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it so powerful Mount Rushmore will blush with envy when it's, it's going to be hewn from wild black granite. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Okay, great. It's a shame I'll have to wait till morning for the sculpture, but beauty can't be rushed. In the meantime, I need the r, &R I was so cruelly denied this morning. So I'm heading to a local vineyard to meet Ian, a man with a plan of how to make wine. Ave! Hi. Pardon? Oh, it's uh, hello in Latin. Ah, oh, uh, greetings. Uh, I'm Phil. That's hello in English. It's weird to see a vineyard in Yorkshire, but Ian's got a lovely suit, so he can't be that crazy. So how long have you guys been here? Well, we started uh, in 2016. That's when we first planted the, the vines. I actually went across this site, you know, with a metal detector and found all sorts of bits and pieces. 
And so because of all that, we created a, like a Roman winery, a bit of an exhibition showing how the Romans made wine. Maybe you'd like to see that. I would like to see that. I love looking at Roman stuff all the time, day and night, non-stop till the day I die. Hey, yeah. nice jugs, Ian. Uh, well, they're amphoras, actually, Phil. This is our Roman wine exhibition. What do you think? It's very cool. Small jugs. Small one there, yeah. Small jugs. So I don't mind small jugs. All sorts of different sizes, depending Off on jugs. your taste, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. There's no wrong size, is there? Uh, and that's what um, we're going to make some wine in this year. You're going to make wine in the Roman style? Absolutely, yeah. And the thing about Romans, they like things to smell good. That's why they had the baths, keep everything smelling good. It don't remind me about the baths. That was... You had a bad day at the baths. The corner of this room is closer to a spa than what I thought was going to be a spa this morning. Now, you've got some more Roman stuff. The town I was telling you about just up the road, which was called Isurium Brigantium in the day. Albra, it's called today. Um, that's where the Romans had their administration headquarters. They had everything that you would find in a, in a major Roman settlement. Oh, Rome HQ. Ian has a mural upstairs of nearby Aldborough in Roman times. This place just keeps giving and giving. Wow, look at this. Yeah, so this is uh, what you'd have seen, Phil, if you'd have rocked up here in the third century. Um, we know definitely the amphitheatre was here. Look at yeah. that, gladiators going on. Yeah, what There's we... There's a leopard in Yorkshire. That's not a happy leopard. No, it doesn't look too happy there, does it? You might be amused to see that's me, but that's, uh, that's my wife, that's our dogs. Wow. And my children. It's like a, a book of Where's Wallius. And there's a statue. Aha! I'm currently getting a statue made of myself, Ian. Really? For this very purpose. Look, look at the reverence. Look at the- Oh uh, yeah, people sat around admiring it. That's right. You think that's gonna happen with you? Well, it should, it should do. The, the artist um, I got, um, Greg, he's top, top of the line, you know. Really? Well, perhaps really all your followers could, you know, your army, could sort of worship at your feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. you meant my Twitter followers. Yeah? Who kind of do worship at my feet, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Very good. Well, they worship at my tweet. Right. I've never been given a tour of a mural before, but life is full of new experiences. I am thirsty, though, so I'm pleased when Ian gets bored of the painting himself. So, Phil, let me Are introduce they? you to Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Phil. I, I recognize you from the painting. That's, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Do sit down. Shall we drink? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Look at this. Hail Bacchus. Hail Bacchus. Yeah, indeed. Salute. Salute, guys. <laughs> Are they? I can't believe that's made in Yorkshire. And I mean that in the kindest possible way. Thank you. You probably can tell from my general energy, but I'm taking over Britain, I'm conquering Britain in the way that the Romans did for Rome Total War. Yeah, I played a lot of Rome Total War. Did you? So I met this guy called David at the Temple of Mithras, and they came and they had blue stuff all over their face, you know, and they were shouting. Blah. I'd always pick the Julii faction, because yeah. you want to be red. This is great. <laughs> I can't believe I met another Total War fan on the road. And in the winery, the best bit of all. That's right. Yes, fill her up, brother. <laughs> we shall please back us today. He's making me right now, he's making me a, a statue of me. So everyone will respect me. And he's doing it for the art of it. He's not even charging me. He's doing it because he loves the art and because he believes in me. Unlike these guys. Mm. Mm. What? How much have you had to drink? Wow, well, I've had some. It's 11%, like, you know. <laughs> da, da, da. Do you ever make your soldiers run just for the fun of watching them? And then just hit fast forward and then... <laughs> yeah. Not bad enough for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you later, fellas. Yeah, 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 that, would, yeah. that would really... Yeah. That, would, that would mean you'd be more likely to lose, and that's not, that's not a good but thing. But it's just, uh, it's just to watch them go. It's funny. <laughs> Last night was a lot of fun, and although I'd love to sleep off a bit more of that fun, I've got a statue to pick up. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Greg. Wang the Erotic, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how have you been? Are you ready? Yeah. Keep those eyes shut. <laughs> there you go. ba -da. Wow, this is pretty good actually. Yeah, I thought so, I thought you'd like it. Did you? Put the nipple in especially. Well, you know, it's, it's that accentuates the eroticism of your new per 
privileged position. But listen, this is a new type of sculpture. It rivals posterity. Bearing that in mind, I was just wondering if I could get your email address to send an invoice. Hmm? If you could just give us your email address to send us an invoice, we'll... Uh... Okay, yeah, let's, we can all discuss that at some future point. But right now I just need to like, you know, just, I need to take a, take a load off. I understand that. If you just give us yeah. your email address now and I'll get this invoice to you now. Uh, what's, your, what's your email address, Toby? I'm not, we're not paying for this, mate. <sighs> No, I think it's great. Thank you very much, Greg. They'll help you out. They'll sort you out. This is fantastic. Great. I'm going to go take this and yeah, take this to bed right now. So just yeah, email Toby there. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Greg. Good luck. It's disappointing that love and glory weren't enough payment for Greg, but I want to be a patron of the arts, especially when production will pay for it. Next episode, I'm heading even further north, where I'll get up close and personal with Hadrian's Wall. Sorry. Let me out! Oh, we're on the protected side also here. Doesn't work. Hunt for some Roman treasure. I'm already discovering treasure. And consolidate my empire.